Wait, what? All right, all right, folks. Episode number 15 coming at you, Nomad Live, back in my battlefield over here. I hope you guys have been enjoying yourselves in my previous episodes. I know I'm having a lot of fun. I love my fans. I love my fans. All right, folks, giving you guys a little bit of a perspective here because today is going to be an interesting one. Today has been inspired by the one only Mumbo Jumbo. We're going to be creating a double piston extender. That's right, folks, double piston, not fisted, double piston extender so give you guys a bit of perspective over here uh, i'm going to move some of these boxes actually you can see it's a bit of a close quarter it doesn't matter actually which way you actually implement this on our battlefield here folks but uh, i'm going to get started here probably and uh, throw in a couple of boxes here uh so I'll probably make it into uh you know i, I create sort of like a uh, square shape format here so uh, you know and there was a reason for that folks as i always tell you guys i always give you guys my reasons and my reasons are they're firm and foolproof you know, like as I said, you can always confirm all the stuff in the scientific journals of Minecraft, associations of the world, and you'll find that my name is always listed there, you know, uh, certified third level. So here we go, I'm putting in some blood. I add a little switch there on the side, and I'm going to put another uh, piston here in a second. I'll probably put a second one here, yeah. And um, so there was, you'll see in a second why I'm doing that, but guess what, guys? I just added this beautiful, beautifully gorgeous nice 90 degree smooth angled aqua blue little box and who wouldn't want to see it you know i'm putting in these uh, inverters over here because i'm going to add some uh, you know frequencies there in a second as i can change those frequencies it adds power and you'll understand why we need exactly a lot of power in this situation guys you'll see in a second so i have these two piston system that actually has this beautiful aqua blue uh, aqua blue box over here that, uh, you know, when I press that little uh, switch, you'll see you guys in a second what it's actually going to do. And I, with that blood, how it's going to activate, you know, so when i uh, going to click this switch, boom, check it out. Doesn't matter if a guy gets mesmerized, he gets his head clean, ripped off, just torn off as the rest of his body, and you just see his body fall down on the second. Very, very dramatic, folks. I know, very barbaric, but that's the point here, folks. We want to actually kill the enemy spirit that when they see one of their fallen comrades fall down there with no head they will just tuck tail and run away see all this blood over here it's not just going to be the enemy's blood it's going to be everyone's blood so as i light up the system bang the guy gets mesmerized he looks at this beautiful aqua blue square block it's gorgeous and i'm coming there and i'm looking at it and all he do is boom hit it and all of a sudden he just falls down and gets his head torn right off his neck oh my god it's such a beautiful system i'm so excited just to even look at it and the reason why we put those two inverter boards and those pistons with this blood is to give you enough power so that when the actual second block over here delivers this to the actual aqua blue box over here we're actually creating enough force enough power to be able to take the head off the enemy's body and it takes a lot of force folks so this switch over here when I switch it off could be very very misleading they haven't see the switch and then bang hit that switch and it's very simple very quick bang you can see just happening as many times as I want it doesn't matter that's what we have those two pistons over here giving that power here over here to this beautiful aqua blue box and uh, you know you can add a second block in there <laughs> if you wanted to and maybe rip off the rest of their body but you could kind of get the idea here with this uh, two-tier um, uh, piston system over here, how it adds uh, a lot of power with these inverter boards. You could change the frequencies, but when the second block over here adds power to this uh, beautiful aqua blue uh, little uh, box, it, uh, you know, will, it'll just tear down anything in its path. You don't want to be in its path when I hit that switch. You can see it's very, very violent, but that's the point, folks. As I said, it's supposed to dismay and and destroy the enemy spirit so they have no more morale to, for war and to combat. So these inverter boards, or the second one, is what distributes that power from the second one to this actual system. And you can see it actually pushing out when you press that switch. So give you guys a bit of a perspective. There you go, folks. Doesn't matter how you click it in any way you slice it. Some guy's head's going to be falling off. So this is my little, um, you know, head chop off, barbaric, mid-evil torturing system but it's very effective folks so hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys subscribe to my channel 
And I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this one because I'm looking forward to more barbaric and violent contraptions that I can build, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, folks. Remember, Semper Fi. Remember what you got to think and think and do it and then do it again. See you, folks. You can see that the water is being held back by those signs and these pistons push up to prevent it from falling down. Uh, it's in the setting right now so that animals that come down from the bottom through the silo will fall into the pen I'm standing in. Uh, when you hit the button that I showed you at the bottom of the silo, uh, therefore changing with the T-flip, <laughs> can't speak, uh, therefore changing the output with the T-flip flop, those two pistons will